What is up you guys and welcome back to another video. Now today we got a few things planned. Now one of those is going to be cutting down this tree over here. You guys remember me talking about that. I'm going to go ahead and get that out of the way so we are done with all the tree cutting for a while. Then we can go ahead and get all the equipment back to my buddy there and actually free up some space here in the shop. We need to sell this little bit of wood as well. But uh, one thing I'm probably going to buy today is going to be a, a new four wheeler now we don't currently own a four wheeler so it would definitely help out around especially like picking up the logs and moving those around if we could get us a four wheeler now i've been looking at a honda foreman um i think that's one we're gonna get it's in really really good shape man and they're only asking 4500 for it it's very low hours very low miles and it also has a winch that's uh, been mounted on the rear of the four wheeler so you know to make kind of hauling things easier like that uh so yeah man i was really interested when i saw that and it's it's stock you know doesn't have anything done to it now we could turn it into an all-out mud four wheeler in the future um but i definitely want to have like you know the stock tires want to keep those that way we can use it around the yard or you know who knows but uh anyway i think we're gonna go check that out real quick and uh, i guess that's kind of the plan for today to get this fooler check it out ride it around man and uh make that purchase and come back here and get that last little tree cut down also just put a winch on the front of the truck got it wired up about an hour and a half ago and it works great man you see we grab it here and uh let's see we need to find us a tree somewhere to kind of hook to that we can show you guys kind of demonstrate here for a moment oh here's one as you can see we got it uh it works great and uh yeah man uh we can go ahead and reel it in let's see just like that it's probably gonna pull the truck somewhat oh yeah it's it's tugging on it but uh yeah let's go ahead and release that i've really been wanting a winch on the truck and uh of course you know i got to looking on facebook marketplace and then saw the four-wheeler with a winch so i couldn't pass it up but anyway we're gonna go and get headed out now go check out this four-wheeler make this purchase and get on back to the house if you guys are enjoying the video be sure to drop a like and also hit that subscribe button you guys have been killing it man subscribing to the channel i really do appreciate it, it helps out tremendously you guys do make sure nothing's coming i think we got it pretty good here uh it's usually not much traffic here and it's kind of early in the morning it's about nine o'clock right now so everything's pretty chill you guys kind of see what i'm seeing there i feel like corn's kind of kind of tore up you guys seeing that yeah that's kind of weird we're going to check that out when we come back through i'll make sure everything's all right uh let's go and head back up through here if I'm going the right direction, the guy said the first house on the right. All right, here we go. Yeah, the guy's actually in a bind. He needs to sell the fuller in order to get a vehicle. He no longer has a vehicle, so yeah, the fuller's kind of been his only way to go. I'm going to help him out and get him some nice fresh wheels. Let's cut off the truck right here. My original plan was to talk him down some and uh, try to get this for a little bit cheaper. But man, look how clean this thing is. This is actually insane. There's the winch. Okay, he put that on there. Oh, man, that thing looks great. Fits perfect on the full of the way he's got it mounted up with the brackets. That looks great, man. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk him down any because uh, it seems like he could use the extra cash there in order to get a good vehicle. But uh, I'm going to go knock on his door and let him know I'm out here. And, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and get this purchase made. All right, you guys, go ahead and shut the door here. We are now owners of a new Honda Foreman let's go man this thing's beautiful golly it's so clean he took such good care of it we're gonna get this thing loaded on the trailer and get headed back to the house oh it runs good too so smooth suspension on it oh it feels good man back over here yeah we definitely need this to fool i know it's four thousand dollars like it's definitely a good investment okay uh, especially if it can help us make money by moving some logs a little quicker all right managed to somehow get it up on the trailer um it, it was uh we're definitely gonna have to get another trailer in order to haul like the full wheelers on because, uh, yeah, this one's not going to work. The ramps are too wide, and it was a nightmare trying to get it on here. I don't even know how I managed it. Park right there like that. Get it strapped off, and we are good to go. Going to make us a little loop right here in the guy's yard. So that brought us down to a little over $12,000 there in the bank. But we'll make it back, man, hopefully. We keep getting close to, like, $20,000, and then we kind of get a reset there and then have to kind of grind some more to get more money we're gonna keep working hard to save up our money and eventually i know we will man own a lot of farmland and a lot of equipment a lot of four wheelers all that good stuff vehicles you name it we'll get it Let's see here now i did want to kind of check out this right here to make sure everything's all good it looks like really does look like somebody ran off the road all right i'm just gonna cut off the vehicle just like this so look right here unless these tracks have just kind of been here no, actually, I think I see broken tree branches. What in the world? What in the world is going on? 
Okay, yep, uh, here's the reason for the tree branches broke. Uh, somebody's done ran off in the water. I don't see anybody in the truck, though. Dude, holy crap. Yeah, I'm glad we come when we did. Um, I guess we'll kind of see what we need to do. I guess we'll call, like, uh, I guess we'll call the police department. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but, uh, yeah, they just kind of left the truck behind. It's uh, full of water, too. You guys see that? Dude, holy crap. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm going to get on the phone with them, see what they want to do, and let them know that we just found it, and uh, I'll see you guys here in just a moment. I get to use that winch today uh, a lot sooner than we thought. All right, so I was talking to the cops there. They just got here, and I was kind of letting them know how I found it, what I seen when I, you know, kind of walked through the woods there. I actually want to see if I could just pull it out. Uh, they don't think their trucks would do it because uh, there's our two-wheel drive, and uh, they just they don't even want to chance it. So I guess I'm going to unhook from the trailer here, get the winch out, and see if we can get that thing out. All right, we're just going to try to get maneuvered through all this brush here. This is rough. Okay, okay. Ooh, I'm about to get in a bind myself. All right, I'm going to kind of line up because I'm going to try to just go straight back when I do get this truck hooked up. So let's kind of do like this, just like that. All right, I guess I can go to the hitch right there. Dude, they did this thing in good. So it turns out it's actually an older man's truck. He wrecked it here, took off walking to his house, and uh, they actually are there at his house talking to him now, and we're going to try to get the truck out of here they're gonna get it brought over to him and then i guess he'll kind of have to deal with the insurance and everything anyway we're just here to pull the truck out so i guess that's what we're gonna do real quick all right got the winch hooked up let's see if we can kind of just see if i can put a little slack in it real quick there we go that way i can kind of back up to about right here And we're kind of all up in this farmer's field, but uh, I don't really know what else to do. We got to get the truck out. Um, I don't think this will work. Let me pull it a little more. All right, we got it, and there we are. Dang. Okay, so we uh, we got it out, dude. That was that was actually kind of a, that was kind of a fight. I'm not gonna lie. It's a heavy truck to be pulling out, especially being that it was way down in here, so you can guys see where it was. I was trying to use all kind of stuff to make it work, but anyway, we got it. The truck is out. And now uh, I'm going to kind of let them do their thing. They'll kind of finish up with all they need to do. And uh, yeah, they'll take it from here. I guess they'll get a tow truck to kind of come get it from this point on. But anyway, let's get hooked up back to our trailer and go test this fooler out. All right, Tim, we're off. That little purchase did not go quite as we planned there. Um, we definitely ran into some different little obstacles that we had no idea we'd be running into. We got the truck rescued there. Uh, I don't think it's going to be... Of much good anymore but uh i mean hey we did get it out so i guess that's all that matters all right now i'm actually gonna pull out here because we're gonna be working on this tree and i'm gonna test out the fooler here see just how good it hauls some of this wood i'm gonna Ooh. actually go ahead and get to cutting down let's see i'm gonna cut this tree here i think i'm gonna go ahead and just take off the branches first at that one all right now i'm gonna just take the four wheeler here hook the winch up and see if we can drag those out into the open area where we can work with them pulled up right here i could probably hook up to more than one but i just want to see how much power the old foreman has here but yeah i think it should pull it pretty good let's see there we go man dragging it like nobody's business i can't even tell it's back there i mean it's not a big limb anyway but hey still I, you know i was a little worried go and get it to about right here go and detach our winch we got one more to get. Yeah, that's going to make things so much quicker, man. So, so much quicker. Oh, yeah, it's so nice. Grab our winch. And we're off to drag another limb. Oh, let's not hit the trailer. Oh, it is a little squirrely with it. All right, leave it right there. I'm kind of curious when it comes to this big one, though, if it's going to be able to drag it. It's going to be a hefty sun gun. Let's go and park right here. I don't want the tree to fall on it. And here we go. The last tree we're going to be cutting down for quite some time. All right, I kind of got it trimmed up. I left them sort of big because I want to see what this fooler do, man.
Let's go. Oh, dude, look at that. Making it look easy. That's what I'm talking about. I'm actually going to pull this one on over to... You know what? We'll just leave it right here. We still got to get the other trailer, so let's just leave it right there. We got that one out. Dude, this is so nice being able to pull these around. Guys, if you don't have a winch on your fool or something that you're using to do logging with, you definitely need to get one. There we go. Bit of a struggle, but we got it. This one's a little heavier, I can tell. It's got the front end trying to come off the ground. I think there's only one more or a couple more, and then we should be done. All right, and that, oh, wait, well, we got one more. Man, I keep thinking I'm done, but I'm not. All right, this is the last one. And if it's not, it's going to be the last one regardless. I don't feel like hauling anymore. All right, there's the last little bit of log right there brought over. So this should be it. I'm going to just kind of check real quick. Yeah, I don't see any more. We just got the stump. We got to grind down with the raptor. Then we're going to be done with all the logging equipment. We can go ahead and take that back to my buddy. But I think we're going to wrap up today's video right here, you guys. I'm going to continue getting all these logs put on the trailer. Going to go sell those, see what kind of profit we make. And I'll catch back up with you guys in the next video. If you guys like the old foreman right here, be sure to leave a like and let me know down in the comments below, man. The winch just really makes this thing so useful. And uh, we'll be able to use it for a lot of hauling here around the property. If you did enjoy today's video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, guys.